Well, let's bring in Saturday Herald Sun columnist and Sky News host Steve Price to discuss the news of the day. Good to have you, Pricey. Now, the Prime Minister, of course, announced the date Great of the, the Voice to Parliament referendum today. Take a look. The idea for a voice came from the people and it will be decided by the people. Today I announce that referendum day will be the 14th of October. Now, we all knew this was coming, but I think one of the most interesting things today, former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull uh, announced that he was going to go against the line of the party he once led, and he will be campaigning for yes. This is a very important moment, and uh, this is a time when we should bend the arc of history a little further in the direction of justice by voting yes. It's a great sartorial look, the T-shirt over the collared shirt, but when he was asked why he's campaigning for yes now, when in 2017 his government voted against holding the referendum, he said it was because he didn't think it would succeed back then. Take a look. My government did not support the proposal when it was presented in 2017. Uh, and there were, there were two reasons for that. Firstly, we didn't think it could be successful in a referendum, but I think, you know, that was six years ago. A lot, lot's changed since then. It's definitely winnable. And the second thing was we struggled with the idea of having an office in the Constitution that was the qualifications for which were anything other than Australian citizens. So I didn't think it would happen, so I didn't support it. Whatever happened to principles, Pricey? Well, exactly, Caleb. Great to be with you. And the word he left out there was one of the reasons I gave back in 2017. He didn't think the idea of a voice was desirable. I mean, <laughs> we can't beat Malcolm, can we? I mean, I'm watching <laughs> Sky there today and I'm thinking, I'm thinking like you, Anthony Albanese wakes up in his Adelaide hotel room, he turns on Sky and sees Malcolm Turnbull with a Yes t-shirt on, standing outside <laughs> the El Alamein fountain in King's Cross, <laughs> saying he's going to vote Yes on the day that Anthony Albanese is going to do his big set piece to announce the date. I mean, the television in the hotel room would be broken for a start. <laughs> Albanese would have been filthy. But Malcolm, who wouldn't do it when he was PM, is now trying to ride in on the coattails of Anthony Albanese and say, now's the time to do it in the arc of history. <laughs> I mean, sh really, give me a break. Well, what we're forgetting is, of course... Uh Albanese, not Alan, is he, sorry, Turnbull was the guy who first said that a, a voice to Parliament would be a third chamber of Parliament, which, of course, we've been told ever since is, is misinformation. He invented the term. He did invent the term. Uh, and, look, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time today. I also think the PM, Caleb, and you and I are all South Australian boys, whoever advised him to do this in Elizabeth... Uh, I, it's had me scratching my head now for a couple of days. Mm. I'm old enough. I lived in Elizabeth for a year as a kid. Elizabeth is a suburb named after Queen Elizabeth II. It was set up to take in migrants who arrived on a boat to build Holden cars in Adelaide. Mm. Now, why are we launching the Yes campaign in a suburb named after a royal that was populated by non-Indigenous people who came here on a boat, Caleb. <laughs> the irony was rather lost on them, I think. My grandfather was president of the Central Football Club at one point, so I'm well across Elizabeth as well.